What is going on, everybody? Super Yankee for Life here once again, and welcome you guys to my NFL picks for Week 7. And I do not understand why I had my headphones still in my ears. Like, I, don't, I was listening to some music, but I'm going to get right into the picks. Um, Seattle at Arizona is a Thursday night game tomorrow night. I'll go with Seattle, win yeah, Seattle to win this one. Uh, Arizona is coming off a uh, loss to San Francisco. Seattle is coming off a a very hard fought win over Tennessee last week. I don't uh, a lot of people were, were surprised by it for some reason, but uh, I wasn't. I think mean, Tennessee's a tough football team. They gave Seattle um, all they can handle, definitely for sure. And um, uh, Russell Wilson definitely has to improve his quarterback play uh, still, but. Um, De defensively, still very good. They gave up no uh, no offensive touchdown last week. Also, I'll go with Seattle to uh, go to what is it, five and one, six and one on the year. Uh, Tampa Bay at Atlanta. Uh, I believe the Falcons are coming off a bye. I think so. I'm, I'm pretty sure Tampa Bay is coming off a loss to the Eagles. Uh, I think Atlanta really needed this bye week to get healthy, although Julio Jones is more than likely out for the year with that foot. But I, but I think this will be a perfect opportunity for Matt Ryan to discover some different uh, receivers in, uh, at his disposal, not just Julio Jones or Roddy White, who's struggling. But I, I expect a lot more Tony Gonzalez in this game, so I'll take the Falcons to rebound and go to 2-4 and four on the year. Uh, Cincinnati at Detroit. This is kind of a back and forth game. One team in Cincinnati, which is kind of under underachieving a little bit. They, they didn't win at Buffalo last week, but um, they they I feel like this team should be should be winning more games impressively than they are um, so far this year. And as for Detroit, coming off a very impressive second half performance in Cleveland last week. Uh, who, who's the tight end's name? Christian Fourier. I believe, I believe that's, that's his name. Uh, three touchdown cast, passes uh, uh, for him last week. He's, he seems to be a nice alternative should Calvin Johnson be injured or ineffective. Um, and plus, you got Reggie Bush in the backfield who, who just can do everything. So I'll go with Detroit to win at home. Buffalo at Miami. I'll go with Miami to win this one. Uh, coming off a, I believe they're another team coming off a bye. Uh, you know, they, they've lost the last two weeks, um, you know, against New Orleans and then at, at home to Baltimore. Uh, they need to win, they need to, yeah, they need to win badly to stay pace with, you know, uh, the Patriots and the Jets, apparently, in the, in the AFC East. Uh, speaking of those two teams, the Patriots and Jets, um, I'll go with the Patriots to win this game. Uh, the injuries keep piling up for New England. Uh, they lose... Gerard, is it Gerard Mayo, I believe? Yeah, I think so. He's out for the year now. They lose Vince Wolf, Wilfork for the year. Uh, the receivers are banged up. I believe Amendola got a concussion last week in the win against the, uh, the Saints. They're pretty banged up, so it's, it's, I mean, Gronkowski, there's a chance he could be playing this game. There's a chance he might not. Uh, it, when he gets back, that offense could, will be a lot better. And plus, I think Steven Ridley is very underrated. He had, I believe, close to 100 yards a year, uh, last week. So I, I think you, you should expect a lot more Steven Ridley in this game. As for the Jets, um, you know, you know, the Jets had a very impressive showing. Geno Smith did on Monday night against the Falcons two weeks ago, uh, and then it just kind of it, it just sailed backfired and uh, they only managed what nine points since the Pittsburgh defense last week. Now granted Pittsburgh's defense is pretty still pretty good. But um, I, I I can't I, I'm not really to be I'm not ready to be on a Geno Smith bandwagon like everyone else is. So uh, I'll go with the Patriots tonight. Dallas at Philly. I'll go with Philly. This uh, this has all the makings of Dallas just going in there and absolutely sticking up the joint. And plus, Nick Foles, I, I think he's a better option than Michael Vick at this point. And plus, he, he knows how to protect himself from himself. In other words, he, he'll, you know, take the safe route and, you know, dive feet first, not head first. 
know, he knows when to get out of bounds. He's, he's, he's an okay athlete. He's not anything like my, my, like Michael Vick is, but he's an okay athlete. And plus, I think as a pocket passer, he is at this point better at, uh, at the, better than Michael, St Michael Vick at, at his stage in his career. Um, I, I think this will be a high-scoring game. Uh, I think um, I think both defenses will, will definitely have to keep keep up with these two offenses, and I think. But I think Philadelphia will uh, outscore Dallas. Maybe like a 37-34 type of deal um, in Philly. Uh, Chicago at Washington. I'll go with Chicago. Uh, coming off a Thursday night win over, over the Giants last week. Uh, they offensively seem to get back on, seem to get back on track a little bit. And plus defensively, they're I, I would say they're a top five unit in the league. Seattle, uh, not Seattle, St. Louis at Carolina. I'll go with Carolina to win. I, I, I'm still trying to figure out which Cam Newton, Cam Newton are we seeing um, on, on a weekly basis. Is it the Cam Newton that's thrown multiple interceptions in, in a game or the one that we saw last week take control of the game and be everything that we expect him to be? I don't know. I, I, I think he's got a lot of potential, but I think... I think he has to, if he, if he can deliver another performance like this, like he did last week, I think maybe there's a chance that uh, we could be seeing, you know, the, 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 the expectations fulfilled for Cam Newton. Um, of course, it has to be, you know, him reaching the playoffs first, but um, I don't know. It just, it just seems like we're getting two different Cam Newtons every week or every other week. Uh, San Diego at Jacksonville. Uh, I gotta give credit to Jacksonville for, for battling last week against Denver. They they hung around. They actually hung around. They were only down by two points midway through the third quarter, and then Denver pulled away. But uh, uh, I gotta give Jacksonville credit for covering the spread. I mean, uh, I mean they have a lot of pride still. Uh, as for San Diego coming off a very impressive defensive performance uh, against Andrew Luck and the Colts on Monday night. Uh, Philip Rivers seems to be really reju rejuvenized um, in San Diego. Uh, you know, ha having Antonio Gates, uh, it, they're without a couple of receivers and plus, you know, Dwight Freeney on the defensive side. But they just keep taking it. I think they'll uh, they'll get a, another uh, win at, at Jacksonville. San Francisco at Tennessee. San Francisco seems to, you know, found their mojo again after getting blown out. On the road at Seattle, then at home at, at Indianapolis. So I'll go with San Francisco. Cleveland at Green Bay. Cleveland had, you know, its three game winning streak, but now it's time for reality to come back down to earth here. Um, or for them to come, come back down to earth. What the hell is it? Uh, Green Bay, as for Green Bay, though, they are very banged up. Uh, even after the bye, we do. They. Um, James Jones is hurt, and then Randall Cobb with that. Oh, I, I've seen the replay several times. I, I kind of cringe every time I see it. Um, definitely, I think the competition committee in the NFL is going to look into uh, low hits, not just high hits. Uh, but hopefully it's okay. Um, I'll go with Green Bay to win regardless, because I think Jordy Nelson will get a lot more touches, and plus defensively, I think Green Bay's getting a lot better, even without Clay Matthews. They only, they only gave up, what, what, 17 points last week, which could have been a lot worse if, if or, was it 17 or 16 points? I, I forget. But it could have been a lot worse if uh, Ray Rice was actually involved in more than Baltimore offense. But I digress. Houston at Kansas City. Houston, oh boy. When it rains, it pours in, in Houston. It, if it's not Matt Schaub getting cheered when he gets hurt, it's uh, T.J. Yates throwing a 98-yard pick, uh, six. Oh, boy. Uh, as for Kansas City, they just keep trucking along. They, they beat a, a division rival in Buffalo. Not Buffalo, but in the Oakland last week. Alex Smith's doing a great job taking care of the football. Uh, Jamal, Charl J Jamal Charles. I might get really killed for this. I, I probably will. I most likely will. But I think I would take him as my franchise running back in the NFL right now. I mean, this dude can run. He can catch. He can pass protect. He can he can do everything. He can do everything that you want him to do uh, for the running back position. Uh, I know Adrian Peterson gets 
all the attention, and deservedly so. He's just a physical freak, a physical specimen. He can run hard, he's very physical, and he can catch too. But I feel like Jamal Charles is the more complete back in the NFL. Baltimore at Pittsburgh. I, a part of me wanted to go with the upset. A part of me wanted to go with Pittsburgh to beat Baltimore because Baltimore seems to forget every now and then that Ray Rice is their best player and they don't give him the football. Uh, and plus, Flacco's not really living up to his contract. Oh, boy. I, hmm. I'll go with Baltimore to win this game. It will not, it, it will not surprise me if Pittsburgh pulls off the upset. And then the, we have the Sunday Night Football game, Denver at Indianapolis, probably the most talked about game because Peyton Manning returns to Indianapolis for the first time since being a Bronco. Uh, I'll go with Denver to win this game. I think Indianapolis will keep it close, but I think Denver is just too strong offensively to be stopped. And then the Monday Night Football game, which probably should be a, which will be a snoozer. Minnesota at the Giants, and if there's ever a time for the Giants to get their first win, it's right here. Because looking at their schedule, I don't really see much of an opportunity for them, for them to win, win their first game uh, anytime soon. So if there's ever a time to win their first game, it's Monday night, and I think they'll do it. Those are my picks. Hope you guys enjoyed them. Until next time, Super 8 for Live signing off. Peace.